Now, we know that if we start out and we start adding more content to a course, okay? I mean, I mean I'm not saying content doesn't matter. If there's no content, then there's not going to be very much learning. As we increase the amount of content, then at least for a while, the learning goes up. But the problem is, and the literature, the, the research is very clear on this, the problem is that if you keep going, whoops, sorry, if you keep going, then you reach a point of cognitive overload. You reach a point at which people simply cannot absorb anymore. And it's not just that they don't get the nice to know, it's that they get confused, they don't even understand the basics. Ruth Clark said it very well in her book, Evidence-Based Teaching. Content covered is not content learned. Just because you went over it in class, just because you talked at me about it, doesn't mean I learned it. Learning requires time to reflect, time to engage, time to practice. Think about learning to ride a bike. You didn't teach your daughter to ride a bike by giving her a PowerPoint lecture on riding a bike. Sooner or later, if you want to ride a bike, you've got to get on and ride. And the same is true for many of the skills we teach. They are as complicated or more complicated than riding a bike. We need to give people a chance to get on and ride. We also need to be clearer. The reason I emphasize the, the business outcomes is, as some of you said in your comments, Adults want to know why. That's a fundamental principle of adult learning. The more clearly we can connect it to their business, the more likely they'll be to use it. Because if they walk out of the classroom and they didn't believe, they didn't perceive the learning as useful and relevant to their job, they're not even going to try. They're not even going to try. We'll be dead in the water. So we've got to draw that thread through to be sure that people understand. They have enough time to practice and they understand the relevance to them. 